Researchers David Schmetterling and Mike Young were studying fish when they stumbled onto something that changed the current thinking of an entire species. We were trying to do a, a trout movement study, and after we began catching toads day after day after day, it became apparent that, you know, maybe we ought to turn this from a trout study into a toad study, and so we did. At the time, toads, unlike frogs, were thought to use water only during the breeding season. The rest of the year, they spent on higher ground. What we found is they're using streams and riparian areas a lot in, in conjunction with movements to the uplands. But this is a very, very important component of their movements and their life cycles that was going previously undocumented. Researchers were also amazed to discover that these little amphibians could cover great distances from four to eight miles in just two weeks. They're not just moving downstream, but they're also continuing their movements to the uplands. They're climbing mountains, going across basin divides. And if you look at a toad, they're not really built for speed, but yet they do this very quickly and they cover a lot of ground. It's really fascinating and very unexpected. While this research has shed a completely new light on toads, the broader implication is that these unique stream habitats are more like highways running through the state. Streams themselves are not just habitat for animals, but they're corridors. And so the animals, fish, aquatic wildlife, you name it, are using those to move upstream and downstream. And we just need to appreciate how important it is for those animals to be able to move. Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.